Stop right there. Did you lock up the chicken coop? No, but I closed the door. Go put the lock on or the cat will get in there. Oh, go. Okay, okay. What does she think, Igor? That you're smart enough to open a door? Mama gives you far too much credit. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Mama! There's someone in the... What? What the... Here are the blue steps of the north and the black forest. And here is the dragon spot, the mountains that surround the valley. And the monsters are there, right where you're sitting. Or at least that's where they used to be. 500 years ago, the dragon spot was split by the spider witch. Ever since then, evil monsters have been coming into our land through that rift, which is why they call it the Monster's Cradle. Are... are all monsters evil? Yes, of course. Except for the giants. They roam the mountains near the Monster's Cradle, trying to keep the monsters out. But this story is about one of the monsters that managed to get in. Walking Head On a lonely winter night, many years ago, an old man was coming back from town. He had almost reached the door of his cabin when he heard a voice that said, Stop! I've already heard that one. Tell us another. Hmm. Okay, how about this one? The Howling Ghost. It's about a ghost that... No, I already know that one, too. I'm not paying 25 cents for this. Well, no one's keeping you. Look, I just want to hear a story I haven't heard before. A real one. Like the one about the Keichi that was spotted a week ago. What story? You didn't hear? It was on a farm in the next village. There was this kid, and he went out at night to check on the chicken coop, right? And when he got there, this Keichi pounced on him and mauled him before disappearing into the forest. Now that's a real story. Are you even a real monster tamer? Of course I am. Sort of. Almost. Well, maybe I'm more of a monster tamer in training. But these stories are real. This book contains everything I know about monsters. <sighs> I bet I know more about monsters than you do. Oh, really? So you know how a Keichi can turn into a human, right? Of course. Everybody knows that. Well, do you know how to tell a Keichi from a real person? Uh... Their tails. Keichis can change everything about themselves but their tails. Guess you didn't know that. I'm done. Let's go. You want a real monster story? and list it up. Not long ago, a traveling merchant camp was about to close up for the night. As they were shutting the gate, they got one last visitor. It was a caravan that moved by itself. By itself? It glided noiselessly past the gates and then stopped. A strange little man came out. A man with a cold, dead heart. With every step he took, his heart rang inside his hollow chest. Clang! 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 He asked to speak to the camp leader. He said he had something to sell. So the camp leader looked inside the caravan. And he screamed! 
because the little man was selling. A hideous monster. How hideous? Too hideous to come out of the shadow of the caravan. But his eyes burned like embers, and his blood-curdling wails could be heard throughout the night. Ooh. Ooh. So, how does the story end? It doesn't. The monster is still here, in this camp. What? No way. Follow me. There. So, it's a caravan. What does that prove? So there's really a monster in there? Yes. And for an extra 50 cents, I'll go tame it. You couldn't do that. And why not? First, you're a girl. Second, um... You're short. So what, four eyes? So you're not strong enough to tame a monster. It has nothing to do with strength. You have to be agile and cunning and... And you have to think like a monster. And what makes you so special? Because I was born over the mountains. In the land of monsters? No way. Yes. I was carried into this valley in the arms of a fire-breathing dragon. Okay. If you can tame that monster, we'll give you a dollar each. Deal. I don't think I have that much. I'll lend it to you. You! Z the mouse! What are you doing here? Huh? Hey! I told you to get out of my camp! Did you see her? Did you see the way she went? No. Who? No. Cedric! Did she come by here? The mouse! Suri! She is still here! Really? Yes! You said we lost her in the last town, but she is still here! Calm down, Leon. Am I not the leader of this camp? Must I let some ungrateful little foundling turn it into a farce? A joke? A circus? Calm down, calm down. sure that it was her? Cedric, sometimes I think you are all trying to drive me crazy. No, of course not. It's just you've been so nervous lately. Don't remind me. Tomorrow is the biggest sale of my life. I'll be dealing with a prince. I want it to be perfect, splendid, wonderful. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. After all, we have his monster. Phew! I knew it. You're not a monster teamer. You got scared and ran away. I didn't run away. I just, uh, forgot my taming wand. Come on, let's go back. All right, you evil monster. My name is Suri. I'm a monster tamer. You'll be good, or... or else. I... I mean it. If you know what's good for you... 
Um, maybe we got off on the wrong foot. I mean, not all monsters are evil, r right? Maybe you're just scared, or angry, or... Or... Maybe you're just sad because you're a long way from home. Is that it? Do you miss home? Me too. It did it! It's okay! Come in! That was awesome! That was awesome! Did you see that? It was huge! Marlene, I have some bad news. The mouse is still here. Really? Yes, so here is a list of precautions to take. Number one. Leon, I'm very busy right now. Could this wait at all? Do not worry. I made copies for everyone. Take heart. We will get her one day. <sighs> Hi, Marlene. Can I have a cherry donut? Sorry, Suri. No freebies today. No money, no donut. No problem. Ah, so it was a good day? Yep. Guess what I did today? You decided to stop all this monster nonsense and come back to work at the bakery? Uh, well, no. Then it'll have to wait. Monster Tamers! We said get lost! Go peddle your junk elsewhere, charlatan! Excuse me? Yes? What is it, girly? You're Monster Tamers, aren't you? That's right! The mayor asked his best men to look into the little monster problem in these parts. So you've tamed a lot of monsters? Ha ha! You'd better believe it! What kinds? Oh, like leshies, basilics, and many jackalopes. Really? Nothing bigger than that? Nothing bigger than... You brat! Yeah, I suppose you've done better? Well, actually, I... Wait, wait! You're not actually saying you want to be a monster tamer? That's right, and one day I'll cross the monster's cradle. <laughs> Forget it, kid. You'd have to be the best monster tamer in the world to do that. The best monster tamer in the world? That could very well be you. What do you mean? With one of these fabulous weapons, harder than diamonds they are, only $25. Forget it. Weapons aren't your fancy? How about a charm then? I've got griffin tails, jackalope paws, dragon teeth. Dragon teeth? Yes. Let me check if I have any left. Aha! One last one. What does it do? It will bring you good luck. Is that all? Uh, no. It's also a powerful amulet that will... Uh, awaken the great power within you. Only ten dollars. Never mind. Okay, okay. Five dollars. Four? Two. No more. Can I help you with that? Huh? Well, that was pretty lucky. Thief! These donuts are mine! I was just offering to help you carry them home. Oh. Okay then. Why did you buy all these pillows? 
I didn't buy them. I made them. I was selling them at the fair. They're neat. Really? Thanks. So... You were visiting the fair? No. I worked there. In the bakery? Nope. I'm a monster tamer. Today, I tamed a monster three times my size. Bigger even. Really? I had never seen one like that before. And I know a lot about monsters. Like dragons, giants, and cages. Hey. Do you know how I can recognize a cagey? I'll tell you. By their tail. Huh? Hey! Stop! Where's he going? Hello? Whew. Found you! Ah! Ah! Weird. Well, I got a pillow and a box of donuts. That's lucky too, I suppose. Ugh! Fish! Not so lucky. Could this thing really work? I was probably fooled by that guy. This would make a nice necklace, but I don't have any more money to buy a chain. Oh, wow! What a pretty ball of twine! Am I lucky or what? Bedtime, children! But we haven't finished the story yet! That'll be for another time. Cedric has to talk to Suri. Hmm? Oh, uh, yes. Look, Cedric! Oh, what a pretty necklace. It's a dragon tooth. It's supposed to be a powerful amulet that can... Mm-hmm. Grr, you're not listening. <sighs> Suri, how long do you think you can outrun Leon? Well, if I've had breakfast and I'm wearing my good shoes... No, that's not what I meant. You're old enough to work. It's time for you to take a job. But I have a job. I mean a real job. This idea of being a monster tamer, it's not realistic. And all because of a dream you had when you were little. It wasn't a dream! Suri, if you don't get a job Leon approves of, I'm afraid one day, you might really have to leave. Pfft, I'd rather leave than give up. Is that so? Absolutely. I'm going to become a monster tamer and nothing will stop me or scare me or... Oop. Ah, Cedric, I have searched the whole camp. No sign of the mouse. Everything is set for the prince's arrival. Really? That's great. Good night, Leon. It is a good night, and tomorrow will be perfect, splendid, spectacular. <sighs> good night, Suri. Night, Cedric. Lem, where's Sid? Lem? Lem! Huh? Asleep again? I was gone for five minutes. Sorry, Victor. Where's Sid? He went to check on the tripwire over there. Let's go then. Probably another jackalope. Why can't we ever catch something big? Are you still angry about what that girl said? For the last time, no! Well, neither am. What was that? Shh! Something big. Ah! It's just a kid. No, I don't think it's just a kid. It's one of them. She. <laughs> I guess this is my lucky day. Victor? Victor? Oh, you're the weird 
boy from before. How did you get in? Do you have something of mine? Sorry, I didn't keep the fish donuts. Not that. Something else. Something I lost. Oh. Yeah. Give it back. <laughs> you should take better care of your things if you like them so much. Give it back. Shh. Keep your voice down. Sheesh. Here, have your stupid pillow back. <gasps> what? That, around your neck, that's mine. It is not. I got this fair and square. Liar! She has it! She has it! That weirdo brought his whole thing. They're fast! Where did you go? <gasps> Monster? Somebody help me! Dead end. What's going on? What just happened? Perfect. Perfect. Splendid. Wonderful. Fantastic. Oh boy, Leon is really losing it this time. Yup. Amazing. Spectacular. Marvelous. Now, now, Leon. What was that thing anyway? Some sort of monster for the prince. Well, I'm not sad it's gone. You and me both. Those cries it made chilled my blood. And that little man who owned it? Hey! Look at what I found! Creepy. Stop telling me to calm down! And start packing! We are leaving immediately! But it's the middle of the night. E. Me. Deadly. Uh, attention, everybody. There's, uh, been a slight change of plans. I can't run much longer. Pretty soon I'll have to... stop. Stay away! Stay away! Did I just do that? That really was me! Just try to get near me! Hiya! Ow. See, she is a monster tamer. Quiet, Muska, you idiot. It's because she has the twine. Listen. I don't hear anything. Exactly. Spread out quietly. <sighs> this dragon tooth really works. I won't let them get it. 
I don't hear them anymore. Maybe they've got... Oh! Tosca! There! This isn't a human house. These people are... Keichis! Count yourself lucky. Now what do we do with her? Why did you bring her here? Because we haven't had supper yet. And I, for one, am mighty tired of chicken. No! <gasps> What was that? Aha! So it was you! Yeah! <sighs> oh, this is just great! What is taking so long? We're, uh, just wrapping up a few last things. Anyone? No. I couldn't find her either. Or her things. Could she have left? She always talked about going to the monster's cradle. But do you really suppose? Let's go! What should we do? Let's go. Ah! What are all these sad faces? I know you are upset I missed my chance with the prince. Pull yourself together! Ah, you are depressing me. Cedric, say something to cheer me up. I think we lost the mouse. I've heard that before. I think it might be for good this time. It's about time. You've just cost me big bucks, lady. Big bucks. Who, who are you? Keglio. And Byron is my dog. So why did he go on a rampage to find you? They were going to eat me. Who? The Keichis. They captured me. And they were going to eat me. Your dog saved me. Yes. Well, we can talk about my fees later. First, let's get back to camp. Oh! Hey, the camp is that way! It should be here somewhere. Aha! Great! You found a piece of junk. Can we go now? It's not junk. It's the reason the Keichis were chasing me. It's a powerful amulet. Too bad it's broken. I'll have to make another one. So, you know the route from here? Nope. But we can follow the path of destruction. Oh. How did you get Byron to do this anyway? He just came to help me. I didn't do anything. You must have. I've never gotten Byron to go on a tear like that before. Why would you want him to? That's what we monsters do! You're a monster? Of course! Are you blind? You look more like a scrawny... ugly... baby. I'm an imp. 
and I'm a five hundred year old monster maker. Show a little respect. Wow, really? Sure. Sort of. Almost. I mean, I am five hundred years old, but I'm still getting the hang of this whole monster making business. Just look at Byron. You made him? That's pretty good, isn't it? Some monster. He doesn't like pillaging or terrorizing. He doesn't even like being called a monster. He's a disgrace. Hmm. Don't say that. Well, I suppose he is dangerous in his own way. How do you mean? I can't tell you. It's too horrible. There's the clearing. Hmm. Maybe you should go on ahead. Scared you'll be in trouble? No. But if we are, maybe you could come back and tell us first. Don't worry. When they'll hear how Byron saved me. Where is everybody? Hey, they left. Guess I'm not in trouble after all. My caravan is ruined, though. Help me look for my things. What's the matter? They left without me. I know that Leon never wanted me there, but the others. I've been part of this traveling camp since they found me. I don't know anyone else. I'm, I'm all alone. Hey. Byron's rescue fee is fifty dollars. <laughs> I'm all alone with a monster and a complete jerk. Forty-five then. All right, forty-three fifty because I'm a nice guy. Oh, Byron, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you a monster. Wait, so you were calling me a complete jerk? You're not a monster, Byron. You're a very nice dog. Right, still thinking he's so nice. <laughs> Why won't he move? <sighs> he wants to be a lap dog. Can you believe it? Whenever he gets mopey, he cuddles up like this. Of course, with his size, he just ends up smothering people to death. <sighs> What? That's why I tried to sell him, but I guess they didn't want him either. Say I blame him though. I mean, just look at him. Who on earth would want a lap dog that size? Stop talking. Don't listen to him, Byron. Oof. I'm sure that there are plenty of people who would ow, love to have you as a lap dog, like, like a giant. A giant? What are you on about? <sighs> Of course, a giant. They're good monsters, and to a giant, you'd be the perfect size. We'd have to go to the monster's cradle, though. Are you up for it? Woof. I don't know. This seems like an awful hassle. Thanks, but I think I'll just sell him to a circus or something. See ya. Hey, Byron, heal, heal! I command you. Stop! Turn around! Go back! Oh, why don't you just come with us? Bad dog! Bad! I'm sure the giants will pay you a good price for Byron, and their coins must be the size of dinner plates. Hey, yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! That's a great idea. To the monster's cradle! The monster is still with her. We still have this, but we must get back the rest somehow. Siska, could I have a bit? Mine is finished. You don't deserve any. This is all your fault. Please, I'm scared of being seen like this. Here, make it quick. What can we do? That monster is too strong. We have to think of something fast.
Hello? I did say, Your Highness, it would seem there's nobody here. No, nobody in sight. No doubt the invitation came from some charlatan. I mean a monster of that size in this part of Galatia? Preposterous. Absurd. Laughable, really? That is to say... It's an outrage, of course, knowing how much your highness wanted to hunt a monster. A calamity. A tragedy. But monsters are such lowly game, though. Vile. Ignoble, really. But no matter, we can go hunting still. Would your highness fancy peacocks? Stags? Cougars, perhaps? Peacocks, stags, cougars... Gentlemen, I have hunted them all to boredom. What I want is a challenge, a new thrill. What I want is a monster. Your Highness.